boys under 10s now. This is where the turns have been rolled. On the inside, in lane number one, it's Mark Flannery. In lane number two, it's David Ryan. And in lane number three, Killian O'Dwyer. The first of the serious ones tonight as the boys under 10s get ready. <laughs> so we're ready at the starting line in lane one Max Flannery in lane two David Ryan and in lane three it's Killian O'Dwyer white flag is raised and the white flag is not raised white flag is raised again and they're off in lane number one, Mark Flurry makes a flying start. David Ryan gaining in lane two and on the outside, Killian on the wire. It's neck and neck between Killian and David as they come to the line. Again, our judges will be called into place. It's neck. Oh, what a finish. What a fantastic finish. Wow. We'll certainly have to call in the judges. It's a photo finish. So we have a winner, uh, we've checked uh, by two pixels. David Ryan is in first place, Killian O'Dwyer in second, and Max, Max Flannery, a very close third, Max. Well done. Super run, boys, well done. We're now back on to the second, boys, under 10. And for this in lane one, we have Michael Ryan from Palace Green, Adam Ryan from Tipperary in lane two and Evan Ryan from Tipperary in lane three. It's a Ryan run. White flag is raised. And they're off. On the outside, Evan Ryan moves fast up along the in the middle. It's Adam Ryan. Michael Ryan on the inside, a little bit of a hiccup there, but the two Ryans in the inside lane and the outside lane, here they come. Neck and neck again, but it's the middle Ryan. I think it's Adam from lane two. And a fantastic finish at the end here from Michael Ryan from Palace Green after a small hiccup at the start, but what a great guy. Finished it off in style. Give them all a huge round of applause, guys. Couple of slight injuries. But the winner, Adam Ryan. And in second, Evan Ryan. And Michael Ryan just came in in third place after a small little hiccup at the start. We're on to the third of our under 10 boys, 60 meters. In lane number one, it's Harry Flannery from Tipperary. In lane two, Mark Ryan from Tipperary. Lots of cheering and clapping for these. There's only two of them in the heat. White flag is raised. They're ready. And they're off. A very neat start, but on the inside lane, it looks like Harry Flannery is making a lead way. He's cutting across into lane two, but it doesn't seem to matter to him now. Mark Ryan following up closely behind, but Harry leading the way. And he comes over the line, Harry Flannery. Followed closely behind by Mark Ryan. Well done, guys. Uh, could we have uh, Aileen O'Farrell from Latin Cullen to the start line, if you would, please? We're just going to have an exhibition under 10 girls, 60 metres now, with Sarah J. McCahill and Maeve Ryan, showing you how the girls can do it better than the boys. The girls are ready for their exhibition run. And here come the girls, Sarah J. McCall and Maeve Ryan, giving a little demonstration to the boys on how it should be done. Look at that. Look at them go. Come on, girls. Fantastic. Yoo-hoo. Well done, girls. Fabulous young lady. Well done, girl. Well done. Brilliant. The winner of the boys under 10, the last heat, Harry Flannery, his grandfather raised churns here Many, many years ago, I won't tell you how long because his grandfather might meet me tomorrow and tell me that it wasn't 45 years ago. Okay, we're on to the first juvenile girls in the 60 meters races. In lane one, we're going to have Kira Ryan from Tipperary, Aileen O'Farrell from Latin Cullen, and Edevir O'Hogan from Borussali. White flag is raised. And they're off. In the inside lane, Kira Ryan makes headway with Aileen in the centre, making headway. Out of a year, O'Hogan from Borussia Lee coming in behind, close enough. 
But the start on the inside lane, Kira Ryan from Tipperary moves away silently. Aileen O'Farrell from Latin Cullen gets in there. And all the way, the fantastic had the hero Hogan from Boris Ali with a fantastic finish. What a run from the three girls. We're now followed quickly by the second juvenile girls. In lane one, we have Sarah Ryan from Tipperary. Leah Carew from Latin Cullen in lane two. Eleanor McCattle from Tipperary in lane three. And Michelle Doherty in lane four. Of the second juvenile girls, in lane one, Sarah Ryan from Tipperary. Leah Carew from Latin Cullen in lane two. Eleanor McCall from Tipperary in three. And Michelle Doherty from Tipperary in four. Or from Latin Cullen even, anywhere. White flag is raised. We had a false start, he had to move him back. Whistle blows and they're off. Lane one moves fast away with Sarah Ryan from Tipperary. Leah Carew from Latin Cullen going into the lead as they come up along past the halfway line. From Latin Cullen, Michelle Doherty on the far side. It's between the Latin Cullen girls. Oh, what a fabulous finish. Oh, brilliant. Well done, girls. Leah Carew there, racing away halfway up along. Took the lead and kept it all the way up along. We're on to the third round of the juvenile girls. The last before we go to the juvenile boys run for tonight. In lane one from Palace Green, it's Mary Ryan. Philippa Harold Barry from Tipperary in lane two. And Mary Leahy from Latin Cullen in lane three. White flag is raised. Under starter's orders, and they're off. Here they go in lane one, Mary Ryan leading the headway. Philippa Harold Barry from... Tipperary in lane two and Mary Lee from Latin Cullen. This is a tight finish. We might need it all three together as they come towards the line. Oh, what a, oh, what a finish. What a fantastic finish. The tightest finish of the evening between Mary Ryan Bob from Palace Green, Philippa Harold Barry from Tipperary and Mary Lee from Latin Cullen. Our judges are called in. Yes, Timmy Ryan is asked to give his opinion. This could take a while. We haven't a winner yet, Hawkeye. Ta, Neil, Neil, Ta. Have we a winner? Oh, then our judges, our judges, we, we'll go to the chairman of our judging panel, Michael Fuller. He leans over discreetly and tells Stevie O'Donnell, the events manager. Stevie walks to me slowly and whispers. The winner. Mary Leahy. Second, Mary Ryan Bob and Philippa Harold Barry at tight third. What a race. Well done, girls. Okay, the boys are ready. White flag is raised. Whistle is in the mouth. In the inside lane, Jack Welton from Latin Cullen, Gavin O'Mara from Tipperary, and Tom Ryan on the outside, all the way from Palace Green. They're off. All three get going and running, but in the inside lane, making the way. Jack Welton from Latin Cullen taking a lead as they go up along. The turn is not going to get away from him. A winner, a hands down winner on the inside, Jack Welton. Tom Ryan coming in second, and Gavin O'Mara, fantastic finish in third. Well done, boys. Our second heat of the juvenile boys sees in lane one Aaron Mulcahy from Tipperary. In lane two, it's Sean Doherty from Latin Cullen. And in lane three, Peter Ryan from Tipperary. White flag is raised. The whistle has been handed over. It's blown and they're off. Lane one, two and three. This time it's a level start as they come up along with the middle lane. Heading away in the middle lane, taking a slight lead. But the outside lane, lane three is moving back fast. Two and three, two and three. Go across the line together and one a close finish. Well done, guys. Fantastic finish. And the winner of the second heat of the juvenile boys, Aaron Mulcahy. And second, Peter Ryan and Sean Doherty in a tight third place again. White flag is raised for the first of the girls' minors with Claude Ryan from Tipperary, Aoife Max from Bursley, and Marie Nash from Latin Cullen. The whistle is in the starter's mouth. He's ready. 
They are ready and they're off. In the inside lane, Claude Ryan makes a good start, but on the outside lane, Marie Nash from Latin Cullen leads the way. Marie Nash followed closely in behind by Claude Ryan, with Eva Max and Boris Lee following up closely behind. Latin Cullen, touch and go. All the judges are called in for the first of the girl done girls. Fabulous run from Claude, from Eva, and from Maria Nash from Latin, and a real tight finish where our judges are called into play again. So we'll get our independent observer from Stokes Kennedy Tipperary Co-op. The discussions are going on as the girls bring the turns back down. Our chief turn advisor. And the winner is Marie Nash from Latin Cullen. Claude Ryan in second place. And Eva Max from Borisali. Our close third. Well done, girls. A good start to the second half of the show. So we're off. The white flag is raised. Daniela Ryan from Tipperary and Ashling from Latin Cullen. All the Ryans. Here they go, the Ryans. It's a tight start. Both of them getting into the swing of things within the inside lane. Daniela's taking a little lead from Ashling, but Ashling fighting back on the inside. An enormous speed. They're coming up. Daniela looks over to her right hand side. These Ashling coming close. Ah, fantastic between the two Ryans. Latin Cullen represented well by Ashling Ryan and Daniela from Tipperary. Getting ready, the first of the four race heats for the boys minor. Our judges checking out that there's no bit of skullduggery going on. He raises the white flag over his head. The highest he ever raised his hands. And the whistle blows and they're off. It's a tight start, all four turns been rolled. Tremendous speed with Jonathan, James Ryan, but in the inside power. It's the Powers and the Doherty's. Latin Cullen looking good. Latin Cullen looking fantastic there. Played off each other to get a run into the slipstream. Michael Fuller just checking the winners to make sure everything is in its proper place here tonight. So the winner of the boys minor the second heat of the boys minor race the winner is james doherty from latin cullen and in second place jonathan ryan it's the first of the ladies races 60 meters in the inside lane it's eileen ryan from tipperary denise ryan for representing the tip co-op and caroline mulaney from newport caroline on the inside lane in lane three, Caroline looking good. They're on their marks. Go! Eileen takes off well with Caroline going over into the inside lane. Lane two coming up in the inside. Lane one and lane two neck and neck as they come up along towards three quarters way. But Eileen Ryan takes the lead just at the end. Eileen Ryan takes. Yes, Eileen goes in first place with Denise Ryan from the tip co op in second place. And a fantastic finish by Caroline Mullaney. Getting over the line. Well done, Caroline. Geraldine, don't forget you're the reigning champion. Geraldine and Claire. There's nothing much. There's nothing much in it as they come in halfway. On to three quarters way. Drum and inch, drum and inch. Touch and go. It's touch and go. Oh, what a fantastic finish. Well done. Claire and Geraldine, what a race. Wow. And just pipping Claire O'Dwyer, just, and I mean just pipping her, the All-Ireland champion. Geraldine Canaan from Drum and Inch. The third of the ladies' races. She's on the inside lane, Violet Ryan from Tipperary. Sarah Cunningham from the Tip Co-op. And Kira Maher from Borges. They're ready. Flag is up. Whistle is ready. Kira Maher from Burgess, Sarah Cunningham from the tip co up, and Violet Ryan on the inside. Violet takes an early lead as Sarah comes up from behind with Kira Maher from Burgess. Slight hiccup, but it's Violet Ryan over the line for first place. Well done, Violet. Well done, Sarah. And look at it. Fantastic girl. Well done, girl. Keep coming. Come on. Let's hear it. All the way from Burgess. Kira Maher. Good girl yourself. <laughs> Brilliant, what a finish. Go on, Burgess. 
The winner of that heat of the Tartan to the ladies' race is Violet Ryan from Tipperary. So the white flag is raised. Whistles ready for the last of the ladies' races. Kiro Dwyer from Latin Cullen, Eva Quinlan from Tip Co-op, and Miriam Campion on the inside, all the way from Drum and Inch. It's touch and go, but Kiro Dwyer from Latin Cullen gets a good start, followed in by Miriam Campion from Drum and Inch. Touch and go, touch and go, but Latin Cullen leading the way with Kiro Dwyer. Well done, Kira. Well done to Miriam Campion all the way from Drum and Inch, and to Eva Quinlan with the Tip Co-op. Well done, Eva. It's Cormac Maher from Arrowville Rovers and Kevin Canan from Latin Cullen, just the two of them. So it's the very same as Jack Leonard driving up the road. They're all on the one side. Here they come. Cormac Maher and Kevin Canan. It's touch and go. The judges will be called in here. The judges will be called in here. Cormac and Kevin, a tight finish. Well done, guys. Kevin Kinnan from Latin Cullen and Cormac Maher from Arrival Rovers. And the winner, our judges tell us, is Cormac Maher. Just pipped Kevin for first place. Well done, Cormac. Well done, Kevin. They're off. It's Seamus Kinnan. Seamus Kinnan on the inside gets a great start with Brian O'Reilly from Clown William. John O'Dwyer on the outside. This is touch and goal halfway. It's very close between Seamus and Brian. Brian and Seamus. Seamus, Brian. Brian, Seamus. Seamus, Brian. Oh, it could be a dead heat. It could be a dead heat. Seamus. Canaan from Arville Rovers. Brian O'Reilly from Clam William. And a fantastic finish from John O'Dwyer. Came late. Came late, John. Our judges are called in. The judges are, this, this could be a dead heat. It's quite a possibility. There's a lot of deliberation going on. Stevie O'Donnell, show his CV. Tomorrow night he'll be here with me all tomorrow hot tea. We have a winner. It's Brian. Brian, Brian, Brian O'Reilly, the great Brian O'Reilly from Clan William RFC. And in second place, Seamus Canaan from Arava Rovers. It's the third heat of the men's churn rolling races here tonight. And they're off. Donny Ryan on the inside. Leading all the way to Daniel Hogg from Boris Aleve. We're missing a Michael Ryan, but Donald Ryan. Donald Ryan leads the way over.